What's going on everyone? American Leads, American Leads YouTube channel. My name is Alex Simon. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a nice cup of tea or coffee. Caffeine keeps us moving. Uh, apologies for the lack of content creation. Had a really hectic week, busy schedule. I'm just a bloke, just a bloke just like you, trying to keep it together. But um, hope you had a good international break. We're back to the brass tacks. We're back to the meat and potatoes. We're back to Leeds United at Carroll Road on Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. in the UK and Ireland. The bookies have it at a 32% chance win for the Canaries, 27% chance draw, and a 41% chance of the Mighty Whites coming away with a win with all three points. Willie Nanto back in training. If you had that on your bingo card, I was kind of there, but I was kind of not. Obviously, anytime there's ligament damage, I am skeptical. But there's something about Willie, you know, really, in some cases, I just want to say this, in some cases, your availability is up to you. I knew Willie Nanto by him, his agent, his age, his family, the stuff that we know about, has ambitions to get to the top. And your ability to get back on the pitch is ultimately up to you. I want to be careful here, but I also want to say it's not always up to the physios. There's something about that I liked about Willie that I thought he would be back. And there's something about Jed Spence and Jed Spence's ligament injury. The fact that it's to the knee, the fact that he's a lone E, the fact that I just knew he wouldn't be ready. It's two more weeks. It wouldn't be surprising that in two more weeks, we all get in a room together, Adam Popes raises his hand, and and Farka says it's another two weeks. If he has a partial tear on a ligament, there's nothing they can do except season-ending surgery. So... He's got to strengthen his leg. He's got to strengthen his knee. He's got to play with it, a partially torn ligament. Um, it's just going to take time to heal. Willie had it on his foot. He, I believe he had the surgery, and so he was on the road to recovery. It's not going to be as long as your knee, but look, I'm hand, handicapping it. I'm just saying I knew that Jed Spence injury. I don't, I'm not counting on him before Christmas. If you are, I think you're crazy. Don't believe what you're saying from the physios and from Farca. Uh, let's talk about Pascal. Pascal, I, I talked about, if you ever follow my channel, I've been talking about Pascal's or the next captain at Leeds United, the le next, the transition. And, and Pascal's been here for several years. I'm glad to see this was the first win under a non- uh, Luke Ayling, Cooper, Rodrigo, I believe, side. Pascal's still very young. He needs to uh, regain the torch. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Pascal. Pascal's got some finishing to do for me in terms of his captaincy. There are teams that I've liked. There are players that I've liked that have not been the most vocal but have been captains of their team. They lead by example. I believe Pascal can do this. Pascal Stroik can do can be this player. However, you have to handle business under every circumstance. Uh, we take Joe Rodon away, you're still performing. We uh, you move to the other side, left and right. I know one side doesn't like playing on the right. He only likes being on the left. You have to perform no matter the situation. You help hold yourself to a higher standard. So. Pascal, I'm happy for him. 
I want to see him be the captain tomorrow. Uh, we'll see who he goes, uh, if he puts Luke Ayling, if Farka puts Ayling at uh, right back. But I want to see Pascal take the rein. I want to see more wins with Pascal as captain. It's a little thing, but it's a big thing for me. And it is his time. Grab the mantle. Continue to evolve. Um, and really the biggest kind of news, and I wanted to do a bigger, I wanted to do a bigger video. I wanted to be in a, be in a, with my laptop. I wanted to have, you know, a little bit, some audio bites that I think would be ed, good to have. But if you watch Ipswich, Ipswich is playing beautiful football. Football that I think is on par with what we saw under Bielsa. Farka's playing good football, but I, I'm looking at one touch passing, expressing yourself down the pitch almost the entire way. Leeds United plays pretty good football. We take one touch pass. It feels like one touch, two touch pass. One touch, two touch pass. Ipswich is playing bing, 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 triangle. It just is patterns of play. You just see the ball moving up and down, and then it's a goal. So the question, I guess, is really what I'm trying to ask is, can we get the historic run, really, that that um, Ipswich is under and also Leicester City is under? To me, and Benjamin Bloom did some discussion about this, if, Ipsw if Ipswich just plays mid-table, traditional mid-table points, if you extrapolate it out, now that we're, there's, we're at the quarter pull, they will be in the playoffs. Same goes to um, same goes to Leicester. If, Le if they play top six ball the rest of the way, they're almost, both of those sides are almost guaranteed. In the case of uh, Leicester, they're guaranteed automatic promotion. So, to me, they're only two points behind each other. But the question is, can, can Ipswich sustain the rate that they're doing based on the play, based on the manager? The only thing that could happen to them is injury. Can you get away with injury at this level? Possibly. I think Ipswich will be in the playoffs. The question is, can Leeds catch them? That is the question. I think we're all playing for second place. And if Ipswich was not a newly promoted side, I would almost say that they would be too far gone. It's still early. It's not Christmas. It's still early. But they're playing some. I challenge you. If you followed me, go look at Ipswich's highlights. Outside of, I think they have a slower back line. But they're very good on the ball. Their system is really incredible to watch. And they worry me. Um, so, I will be interested to see if we can catch second place. That's where we need to go points are at a premium we have to continue to pick up points that's it let me know your thoughts in the comments can we catch up switch do you like pascal as captain and will we see jed spence before christmas will we see junior furpo in a leads kit again you're in the championship son you're in the championship, Junior. Get it together. March on, you got to leads, leads, leads.